Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. And today I want to share with you guys what has been my go-to backdrop for fine art portrait photography. So if you guys have ever flipped through copies of magazines, maybe like Vanity Fair, or seen images from Annie Leibovitz, then you're basically, or you basically know the backdrop that I am about to discuss. These are the hand-painted canvas backdrops and they are truly amazing. These backdrops are usually done in large sheets of canvas and painted in multiple layers of paint to give you that depth, texture, and tonality that you can't find in any other backdrop. The only problem with this one is that, as I said earlier, they are huge and since they are custom made, basically they are, rel they are relatively expensive. And that's why I've actually fallen in love with this set of backdrops from Kate Backdrops because they broke that norm. So how did they break that norm? Number one, cost. Normally you have seamless backdrops that cost maybe about $70 or muslin cloth that also costs like $70. Um, this particular backdrop is five foot by seven foot, but and it costs um, a relatively affordable price of two hundred dollars. But it is well worth it. Then next portability, as you can see, this is only five feet by seven feet, which for me is actually perfect for the size of the backdrop that I need for portrait photography. Lastly. It is very, very portable also, and it's very easy to put together. This, I'll show you guys how I actually put this together. It's so simple. This is my, well, this is my auto pole here in the studio, but technically this one can, but can be replaced by an ordinary backdrop holder. And all you have to do is have clips here, and say in this case, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna demo it on how I put it together simply. All I have to do is clip one top here, clip this one too, clip the last part. Ah, there we go. It's much simpler if you basically have a backdrop because you could put it down, a backdrop holder, and all you have to do is roll it out this way, and that's it. Fix it a little bit more afterwards. Here. And there you go. You've got it, you have now a very nice fine art portrait backdrop set in less than a minute. And that's why I love this backdrop. It's relatively affordable already. It's very easy to transport and to put together and pack away. And lastly, it gives you that amazing depth, the tonality and the texture I'm a bit out of breath because I haven't done this in a while. It's gonna give you that depth, that texture, and the tonality that you cannot find in any other backdrop. Now, since again, we have this setup already, we might as well see how it reacts to light and let's do a demo shoot, okay? So let's do this. All right, so camera that I will be using today will be my Sony A7R Mark IV. The lens is a 24 to 70 2.8 GM. I will be using two flash units, one on each side, two F60 RMs, remotely controlled using this one, my Sony Remote Commander. My main light, which is gonna be on the right, is actually gonna be modified using my Magbod, Magbox, and the light here will just be a standard bare bulb flash, bouncing light off the ceiling and the wall to create a nice fill light. As you guys can see, I also added a vinyl floor, also from Kate Backdrop, just to complete this scene. So I won't get into too much detail with regards to all my lighting settings for this particular video, because this is meant to show you guys why this is my favorite backdrop to date. So I want to show you guys how light actually affects this backdrop and how it brings out the tonality and the depth because it is hand painted. But Rest assured, I will be uploading another video after this detailing my entire thought process and all the settings and everything you need to know on how I shot this particular image that you are about to see. Now, if you wanna see that, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and while you're at it, 
click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And in case that you guys want to see more of my images, you could also follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, so I guess it's time for me to call my daughter. Julian, come on in. All right, guys, meet my eldest daughter. This is Jolien. She's a ballerina, and I've always wanted to shoot this particular image of her in her ballet outfit. Right, Jolien? You've been wanting this, right? Yeah. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to... I want you to feel the emotion of you as a ballerina looking out and dreaming about something, okay? And right now, you want to get your point shoes, right? Yeah. So since you want to get your point shoes, what we're going to do is that you'll hold on to your shoes and then you maybe you could have your, your face to your, to your knee. So yeah, let's try that now. Can you bring out there? Perfect. And then put your face to your knee there. Some more. Can you bring it down lower? Then maybe move your leg forward a bit more. No, not your left leg. Pointed, yeah. And then with your right hand, maybe hold on to your, to your ballet shoes. Maybe... You don't, you could do this to your hand and said, yes, there, that, that's it. And now have a bit of moment thinking about when you're going to be able to get your, your point shoes, right? And then, of course, when you're doing that, you have to be smiling, okay? Typically, I would shoot this in a, with a longer lens, but since we are limited when it comes to space and I actually want to be able to, seen, to be seen in terms of, in terms of this video, Otherwise, I would move back and zoom in for this particular shot, okay? So I like that, Julian. Can you, can you soften your hands? And I have here my desk view monitor. It's a 7-inch monitor, which makes it extremely easy for me to compose it because I can't really look here towards the side. And everything that you're seeing now is live and it's brought to you using my Mars X transmitter, this one. This is actually a new transmitter. It has a built-in battery. It's so tiny. Look at it. It's so small. And it's the one, it's an HDMI transmitter, so it's connected to my camera via HDMI. And it transmits a signal now, a signal now to my either my iPad or my iPhone. And it's being recorded, and that's a live view that you're gonna be seeing. Okay? Okay, Julian. And mommy's there looking at looking at the iPad because mommy's the ballerina in the family, so she knows. So maybe you could do a point. Babe, can she do a point? There. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. Very nice. Oh, I like that. Should she put her foot, bring your foot closer, Julian? The, no, the, the one on top, the one on the bench. There. Okay. Then your, your hand, don't hold it towards and put it somewhere here on the side. Yes, that's it. No? Um, really hold on to your shoe. It's like you're holding on to your shoe like this, yeah? Or made softer hands, yes. All right, cool. Nice. Very nice, Julian. I love it. Perfect. What do you think, mommy? Maybe she can bring that's, that's a beautiful thing of having this transmitter. Aside from me, we also have my wife behind the camera looking at the posts of my daughter. And she's the one that actually knows more about this than I do. So she's the one giving directions. Put your right hand on your, on your leg. There. Cool. Point your left foot. Or right foot. Right foot. Right foot too. There. Okay. That's it. That's perfect. Okay, lean forward and smile. Very nice. What do you think, babe? All right, so now do you guys see why I love this backdrop so much? Number one, it just, once you pop a light to it, you, you're able to see the texture, the depth, the tonality that no other backdrop can give except for hand-painted ones. And this one, the one from Kate Backdrop, it's, bit, it's relatively affordable at $200 per 5x7 piece. It's not necessarily cheap, but it's not overly expensive that not a lot of people can afford it. And for me, it is really a very, very good investment because of its uniqueness. The fact that it is hand-painted means that every single backdrop that they create is actually customized just for you. They can probably create something very similar but it will never be the same. Imagine that, $200 for a customized backdrop just for you. Plus, the, with the fact that it's so portable, easy to store, easy to put together, and probably very easy for me to remove, okay? 
So if you guys want, don't forget, if you guys want to be able to know all the technical aspects of this shoot that we did today, please do subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that the moment I upload the next video, you will be notified so that you can watch all that, again, that technical aspect. Now, if you want to see more of my images, you could always follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.